This is my homemade camera slider. It moves and rotates your camera down a rail to capture some smooth and steady shots. But instead of spending hundreds to buy one, I decided to make this. The simplest way to move the camera is to take the same V-slot rails that 3D printers use and add a platform with rubber rollers to smoothly roll the gantry down the rail. I press bearings into the platform which allows the camera to rotate freely. To drive this motion, I slapped in some stepper motors that have high torque and precise control. The main motor drives a toothed belt that's tucked away inside the extrusion to pull the platform along. The other motor drives a small gear to pan the camera. The main motor wires are tucked away inside the rail, and for the pan motor I borrowed an old telephone wire so they can stretch out or coil up without drooping all the way down to the floor. These wires lead to the control box which hold all the components, including a pair of trinamic motor controllers. These gems can handle a lot of current, but more importantly they have smooth operation thanks to their step interpolation technology. Basically instead of just turning the motors with a bunch of jagged steps, it smooths them all over. The microcontroller uses UART to communicate with the motor controllers and uses I2C to display text to the OLED screen which sits next to the rotor encoder for user input. Lastly, to provide power to everything, a step-down converter converts the 12 volts for the stepper motors down to 5 volts for the components. Everything gets packed into the control box and screwed together with these threaded heat inserts. With all the mechanical and electrical components taken care of, the only thing left is to program in all the functionality. Using the camera slider is very easy. You can adjust the pitch or the angle. For more unique shots, you can even angle the rail of the camera slider. A last minute feature they added are these legs with rubber feet so that if I need to, I can just take the camera slider off the tripod and put it down on a table or a desk for more of a simple shot. After powering up the slider, you can select the camera start position and angle and then the end position and angle. Lastly, you can select the speed from zero to 100 and with the click of the knob, the camera starts moving down the rail. Another feature that I added in is time lapse mode, where you can select how long you want the camera to take to go from the start position to end position. Your options are half an hour all the way up to a full day to finish rotating and moving. I'm really happy with how this project turned out and I can't wait to use it to shoot upcoming videos. That being said, I've already drawn up plans for a second version that's going to feature a new tilt axis, directional keypad, battery power, and a stronger microcontroller so I can add in some new features. Oh yeah, I also want it to be a different color, so comment below what you think that should be. If you want to get started with electronics, you can pick up one of these kits that contains all the components for different projects and tutorials. Check out the link in the description and soon enough you'll be able to make your own camera slider. If you enjoy watching 3D printed projects, then you may also enjoy my socket organizer video where I 3D print magnetic organizers to upgrade my toolbox. If you found value in this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Your like makes a significant difference, especially for a smaller channel like mine, so thank you for the support. There's more where this came from and I'd love to show you along for the ride. Until then, happy tinkering and happy engineering.